And I think it's just built off of the good things that we did. We improved a lot from Utah State going into Florida, and I feel like we can build off a lot of good things. Uh, um, Christian did a really good job stepping up, and so I feel like that's a, a big thing we can build off of going into Nevada. With J Jamal questionable now, what, what's the attitude of the running backs? Are you guys ready to kind of step up and take that, that rushing De line? Definitely. We, uh, right now it's just continue running hard, doing our, doing our job as, as far as um, putting a lot for the team. Did you know there was a good chance Jamal would have play leading up to the game? Or were you yeah, we, yeah, we were definitely uh, expecting him to probably maybe sit out. And his his ankle was kind of iffy, and so me and Paul kind of um, kind of talked to each other, and made sure that we were we were ready for for that game. You got a lot more touches as a result. Kind of evaluate your play. What what did you do well? What what do you need to work on? Um, definitely, I need to work on ball security. Um, but I feel like uh, overall, um, Christian did a good job distributing the ball. Um, Paul did a good job blocking. Him. Especially on they did pretty good at blocking as well. How's your one about these sprained ankles? It's kind of a freaky thing, or is it a technical thing, or just bad luck? Um, I don't know. I, I guess it's just bad luck. Um, we've had quite a few s since the start of the season, so we're just trying to stay healthy as far as um, keeping everyone. Do you guys talk about it amongst yourselves while that's happening? We do. We kind of we kind of joke around. Kind of speculate. <laughs> We just kind of joke around saying that we have just an ankle crew just in the training room all the time. And so it's, it's pretty funny. You, you had one yourself, didn't you? I did, uh, in the Texas game. So I sat out for three weeks. And it, it, what caused that? Was it the surface, the cleats, or just um, the... I just think the way the way the defender tackled me, he kind of rolled right up on top of it. And so, um, but I feel pretty good as far as my ankle goes. What about your head? <laughs> my head um <laughs> there's a few scars <laughs> but um it's it's healed up it's it's gotten a lot better you're a physical it's, runner talk about your style of play um yeah i like i like to be physical make sure you know uh, tackle me on the first touch um first contact and so um we, we try and emphasize getting five yards each play and so i guess i kind of keep that in my mind as I'm running. The first thing you mentioned was ball security. How much does, you know, uh, well, you got to move on, obviously, you're a football yeah. player, you know that, but how much does it weigh on you when, you know, the ball comes free like that, or kind of how do you deal with that? Um, right now, it's just a uh, matter of kind of not focusing on it, you know, but not focusing on uh, the fact that I fumbled the play before, but um, it, it, it does weigh on me quite a bit. Um, it, it's kind of a, Kind of affects the whole team as far as up, um, field position and possession of the ball. So uh, it's pretty important to me. Is it something you focus just on as far as technique wise? I mean, because it's an interesting balance. Like you said, you don't want to focus on it and just be thinking about it. Yeah. But at the same point, you know, you want to make sure it doesn't happen. Yeah, How do you kind of find that balance? I think it's just uh, working on it um, every day, technique, um, make sure it's, it's high and tight, and, uh, emphasize it during practice, that way in the game. Um, it's more natural to me. Uh, two losses in a row, is this a good chance to kind of rebound? Is it important to kind of get out of there and kind of get, getting some redemption? Oh, definitely. Uh, so I think we took a big step um, going into the Florida game. Um, we have lots of things we can work on, but overall, I feel like um, Central Florida, the Central Florida game, we it was a, a good, it was a good oh, no, turnout for us. Kind of stepping stone, so yeah. to speak. Mm -hmm. uh, talk about going into this game. What, is, what have you seen in the Nevada? What do they bring defensively? We, we kind of expect the same thing Central Florida brought. Uh, it's kind of a more physical. They're fast on defense, and so we're preparing for that. Coach and I said after the UCF game that you know he, he simplified things for <coughs> for Christian, make sure you know tried to do what, what mm -hmm. Christian does well. How did that affect the offense as far as what you guys were doing on the field, and you know just kind of that that perspective that you, know, that you mentioned? Um, obviously, it's uh, we kind of had to switch it, change things around because Taysom was a totally different, had a different style of play, and so I feel like the first couple we started off kind of slow, the first couple um, minutes of the game. But I guess I think we just kind of warmed up to it, and Christian stepped up pretty well.
Now, if you talk a little bit about, I mean, obviously Nevada's coming up, but what have you seen? I mean, are they a 3 4 4 3 defense? What have you seen in terms of the skim schemes or what personnel wise? Have you had a chance to kind of scout out what you on film anybody else? Um, as far as film goes, I, I haven't watched um, anything yet, but we're, we were watching film tonight and we're going to plan on. I'm expecting the same thing. Do you feel more of a burden just, um, up on your guys' shoulders given the fact that you got a new quarterback in? Is it kind of up to you guys now to kind of, kind of share the load, spread the load out now that Taysom's not that, that quarterback? Mm, definitely. I, um, it is kind of a more responsibility for us running backs, but um, I feel like Christian will do a good job um, reading plays, knowing when to give it, knowing when to pass. And so, uh, we're excited for that.